In this video, we explain the various levels of immersion in virtual reality that we use to simulate learn by doing training. The first level is computer based training, which has no immersion but plenty of interaction. Using mostly 2D style animations, we create easy to use, easy to grasp e learning type training for induction and safety protocols. The second level is semi-immersive 3D type computer-based training, producing a feeling for the learner of almost being there. This is used to demonstrate the components and functioning of vehicles on touchscreens, or for virtual tours, or to get the learner to look for geological hazards while moving around in an underground mine. The third level uses single-screen VR projections, providing a life-sized interaction in a virtual world with a limited field of view, producing a distinct feeling of being there. We typically use physical tools to get learners to build muscle memory by practicing operational protocols such as the marking and blasting of a face wall. The fourth level uses multi-screen projectors to produce a very high level of both interactivity and immersion in a fully surrounded field of view. We use this to get learners to practice a variety of procedures which require difficult decisions in a complex environment. A typical example is the VR Stope, in which learners conduct entry examinations and make areas safe before they mark and blast the face. The fifth level uses VR headsets and produces complete sense of immersion with the learner feeling at home in a different world. In this case, the learner can move around and get inside a vehicle to do inspection or use equipment to bar down rock or to install support. The sixth and highest level of immersion is known as tactile VR, with a very high level of interaction with physical controls in a totally immersive, mixed reality environment. This VR with a sense of touch gives the learner an experience as close as real as you can get. In this case, the learner is 100% mentally engaged and uses not only the brain but also fingers, hands, feet, eyes and ears to engage with the controls and the environment. Learners perform advanced psychomotor operations such as driving a loader or drilling holes with a drill rig. This enables users to learn by doing. Learners build muscle memory and master psychomotor skills through repetition and hone their problem-solving under varying and hazardous scenarios.